enable stars, yes, enable stars. Okay, we're there. Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you're well. We've been watching a bit of the old uh, Formula One. Pretty good actually. Um, as it goes, lots of safety cars, uh, lots of virtual safety cars, lots of starts. It's what you want in a Grand Prix really, and uh, lots of excitement. Instead of just going round and round and round and round. I think we knew it wouldn't anyway, but uh, yeah, it was quite fun. <laughs> anyway guys, um, Hope you enjoyed last night. Eventually I did get the mic going. Apparently I was doing two hours, but if you look at the original, <laughs> um, well, it might be on Facebook still, the original. Um, I'll get wafting on for about an hour and the mic wasn't even on. Um, it was on the wall through the studio. So I could hear myself through the studio. That was not the problem. I could hear myself through the mixer. I could hear myself through the computer, which was brilliant. What I couldn't hear myself from, and I didn't monitor it myself, which was a fault because I normally do monitor it, I threw my mo mobile, um, it wasn't coming through to social media. So it's only someone that let me know, <laughs> and thanks to that guy there, um, he said that uh, the mic wasn't working and also the sound wasn't coming through. So it took an hour. Um, probably a lot of people were trying to tell me that, but they didn't. They weren't writing it down, so uh, it didn't come up to me. Um, so when uh, my mate there told me what was going on, I looked into my Streamlabs, which is the software I use for my cameras in the studio, and found out that in one of the prefer preferences, right where you have to go into the preferences and the preferences, uh, one of the little buttons wasn't on. Um, so basically it was mooting out that channel and unfortunately that was the channel that I was using. <laughs> so, <laughs> so cameras, yeah, brilliant. Um, sound, still just sometimes you're getting that. Uh, but full sound and everything, uh, no. And also he wasn't getting no information from me. So thanks to my mate there, uh, he's heavily into Quo. Uh, so what I said I would do, I would, I would do a, an album um, I've got to go and uh, tomorrow I've got to look into putting a message through to uh, MCPS which is what you license your music for if you're going to do a CD um, and I want to do a Quo CD but we're going to call it Cool Quo uh, and it's going to be a cool soundtrack, a cool chill out uh, but with the Quo um, songs. Uh, so instead of the rock thing, it's going to be more of a cool, chill layout, um, chill out. And um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to put a, a few. I, I was going to do it with the tank, the uh, this one or that one, but I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to do it with the Technics upstairs and run it through the studio. So it's going to be a full studio album, um, and it's going to be cool quo. So it's all the quo hits, um, but probably done with a cool soundtrack with different chill out um, sounds so more of a, a chill out quo um, and I'm looking forward to that I'm gonna in enjoy that luckily enough all I have to do is press record and play um, so that's not a problem I don't have to do things like outtakes or stuff like that so I don't muck about with it I'll just basically record it and play it um, and uh, yeah um, Good thing about doing not with a draw, you don't have to faff around with it too long. It don't take too long. You can just say, "Well, oh, that's the next one." So go on to the next one. Go on to the next one. Playing by ear is is brilliant um, because you can you can do it that way. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So next week, I'm hoping to have a new album, um, and it's going to be Cool Quo. <laughs> what can I say? As for today, we're going to do some Christmassy ones. Um, if you check out my albums on Bandcamp, I have got one down the bottom here, and it's called What I Bring Out Every Year. It is cool, Christmas with Styles. Now what I've done here is I've took a different style and I've played music to this style. 
and um, sometimes it's in the, the traditional style, sometimes it's in a different style, sometimes I took a different instrument uh, or a different beat and uh, gone through there like. So, uh, so I thought what we'll do is, um, it's getting close to Christmas, we can't get away from it now. Um, I'll just soon be going out with a disco obviously. <laughs> the disco is obviously just now uh, 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, not going to do the 50s. 50s are, you're going to be pretty old if you want to be danced to a 50s now, I think, unfortunately. But 60s, 70s, and 80s is going to be uh, what my discos are just now. I'm just doing that with the discos. Um, so, yeah, we ain't booked for New Year's Eve. So, if you want to book me for New Year's Eve, um, probably do five hours for £400. So, that's there's a, there's a quote for you. Um, I am normally £75 an hour now, so um, that's that's cheap. <laughs> uh, so we are taking bookings from now, Christmas songs. So anyway, on the keyboard side, um, yeah, that is the song, that is the one you want to be looking for. Um, you can actually now download it, um, any of the tracks for 25p each. Album, whatever you want to pay, like um, as long as it's more than 25p, you can't get it to 25p for a load of out because I've split it all the actual songs to be paid individually. Um, a lot of fans ask me, Can I do that? So, yes, I could do that, and I, that's what I've done. <laughs> so, that's what you wanted, guys. That's what you got. <laughs> Let me just put that back light on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, uh, so anyway. This is the Christmas stuff. Enjoy. First one, once in a Christmas tale. So I'm gonna use the top one here. And we're gonna go that one. Oh chill out stuff.
once in a winter's tale. <laughs> uh, probably get a copyright strike for that one if I put it on YouTube, but uh, we can work around it. <laughs> there you go. Song at night. This is how you make the algorithm think it's a different song. Silent Night, that's the second one on the album. Uh, this is where you want to be, Bandcamp, and uh, basically, that's the second one on the album. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here then. Uh, here's one I haven't played for a long time, so it might be a little bit rusty on this, on this one. This one, the Rudolph. <laughs> Thank you. 
told you a little bit rusty on that um, when you come to play it you usually play them every Christmas so you're looking at about 12 months before you actually play it again right <laughs> but you get better and better as you go along or I seem to be anyway <laughs> okay running from the next one so that was track three Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer okay we'll get back to number one uh, luckily I've got these mostly on my styles um, so I can actually go straight into my um, music track finder and find the music track that I want and it says Way in a Manger so that's the next one <laughs>
There you go, for all you um, music musician guys, this is the PSR S500. Um, the S version is um, that makes the difference because the S version makes it one of the Taurus groups. So this is why I, I use this one to go out to gigs. Because it's a mini one of these and this one's heavy. That one's light. <laughs> but as you can see, the sounds are still there. Um, Let's see who's on board. Um, if I can figure out how this thing works, buttons everywhere, dolls. It's even worse when you get a, a, a professional because it gives you more bloody things to play with. Let me go straight up the screen, straight up the screen. Not a bloody thing. <laughs> so uh, I apologise if I can't get back to you or if you're talking to me and I ain't getting back to you. Um, it's just basically I ain't seeing no. I'm just seeing loads of things all over my screen. Uh, that's questions and answers I've just set up. I don't really want that. I don't know what that is. I've just hit something else now. No, I don't really want all that lot. There's something else popped up. That's a link. I don't really want to put the link in. I don't really want to look what the schedule is. Fucking hell, why don't it just do normal? That's one of the problems when you go professional. You have so many options you can do with your things that a lot of people don't. That you've got to qualify over 5,000 before you, you, you get anywhere. I think it's even complicated then. Um, so I usually just leave it as it is. <laughs> it's complicated enough. Um, no, I lost that. But anyway, anyway, guys, if you're interested and you and you, and you enjoying it, that's good. <laughs> um, there is stars there. If you want to pop some stars on there, thank you very much. I think that's a, another thing that they give you. It's like a bit of a tipping thing. Um, You'll have to look into it. I can't see it from this side of the screen. <laughs> but anyway, I'm carrying on. Okay, so that's off the album, which is Songs to Chill To. No, it ain't. It's, uh, it's Christmas for Stars. <laughs> Comes out every year. I can make an album like that, print it all out, and I can do your copy with all these songs uh, I'm doing at the moment. Um, done on this keyboard, funny enough. Um, so basically, you're getting close to whatever it was that I recorded it many years ago. Um, and uh, yeah, £10. And uh, as long as you, it, well, I'll post it wherever you are. Uh, as long as you give me an address in English that will make sense, that's not a problem. Um, if you yabble in about another language, you, can, you probably won't get the thing because the postman won't even understand what it does. <laughs> So basically, it's an idea to just do it in English. That's what we can understand. Um, so anyway, I'm carrying on. That was the boy in the manger. This is the first Noel. Might find out it's possibly the same tr sound, but it might be a little bit different. Uh, close. Today we've got orange and pineapple. Thank you. 
there you go. <laughs> so that's giving you an idea of what my album is. So that is the one you want to be looking for. And it looks like that, red. It's always red every year. Christmas for Stars. And uh, it's got all these songs on that I'm doing at the moment for you guys. Um, so that was the, the first Noel. <laughs> So, this God bless you, merry gentlemen, um, if I give you an idea, some of these are a little bit different rhythm to what I've got at the moment, but I'm just giving you an idea of what they are. So if I went to this one, God bless you, merry gentlemen, um, let's see if this will play. Merry uh, gentlemen, I can't remember what soundtrack I did it on. Is it going to do it or is it just going to sit there and do nothing? It's gone. Here we go. It's gone on fine. So yeah, here we go. So this might be a little bit different. Yeah. See a bit of a different beat. So you get an idea of um, what's on this album, all different styles, not just the one I'm playing at the moment. These are the preset ones that come with the keyboard, so I'm just doing some demos on these. But what I did is I played different styles for different things. So you'll find some different styles on here, um, completely different. So anyway, I'm going back to the other one. So that's got the rest of you very gentlemen, and as you know, that was quite a bit more beaty one, so I'm going to have to find a beaty one because it's not in the presets on this one, so I'm going to have to find something with a bit more go. Um, and usually I can match it with any rhythm if it sounds pretty good. Let's have a listen. I think I can do that. Let's have a look to see how fast the backing's going. Yeah, we can put it to this. Hang on, we got a we got a problem somewhere. That shouldn't split there. For some reason that's splitting at the wrong place. Split in the wrong place, that should be split higher. Okay, let's have a look what's causing that. Um, we need to split a bit lower, the split needs to be a bit higher than that. So take it back one, let's put on one. again. Might be able to do it on a different way at the minute. Let me just have a look. Thank you. 
said so. It's a bit like a Bond film move in there, wasn't it? And the ending of a Bond film. <laughs> oh okay, tell us God rest you, merry gentlemen. <laughs> okay, next one. This one's We Three Kings, so let's have a quick listen to that one. If we can log into that one and have a quick listen. And then I can see roughly what rhythm I put to it at the time. Okay, that's... Okay, yeah, I could do that. I could do it on that one, I could do... Let's see, what should we do on... It's got to be a slow one and it can't be a, can't be a fast one. Let's see where we go on this one. That could go quite well. Interesting. Let's go to beat more. Gotta have some sort of beat behind it.
<laughs> I'm about then. We Three Kings, and that was done on um, the Cat's Memory. Well, obviously that is Memory. That's what it should be. <laughs> but uh, with playing by ear and my little ears that can pick up things and these things that can play with them things, um, everyone says I'm a robot, not a robot, but alien. Probably am, with all these skills. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's that. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, so that one, three, three kings. Right, let's see what we've got on uh, the next one. So that was put on a little bit more of a beat. As I say, all these styles are completely different. They're not your normal, traditional. Um, so let's have a listen to this one and see what soundtrack I put to this one. I cannot remember because it's about four or five years ago. Okay, this is more of a sort of uh, jazzed up version, isn't it? So I've got to find something close to that. Okay, we've learned that that's enough listening to that, so. so let's see if we can improvise on that one. Probably too much there. Let's have a look. Uh -huh. Might go, might go, might be a bit too quick. Let's just see where we can go on it. More of a waltz. Thank you. 
Sing and uh, that was just picked at random, that sort of uh, beat. And that was a moose, 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 musselate, musselate, the the rivet, the rivet, the rivet, the the rivet, it was a sort of uh, one of them. <laughs> and I put it to heart, the I enjoy singing. Um, so there you go. Okay, disco version one now. This one where we could get a copyright. <laughs> This is a bit of Bodie M. <laughs> and it's, it's a Mo, Mary's Boy Child, so I need a bit of a disco -y one. Let's go find the disco -y one. That's a swing, that's an oldies, that's a disco one. There you go. Um, have we got it in there or not? I don't know if we've got it in there. It's all in code. <laughs> I might be able to do it on a Philadelphia one, let's have a look, see if that works. Not really the right rhythm, no. It's a bit of a synthy one and all. Thank you. 
well we sort of made that one up that's a bit of a philadelphia backing disco um and the original one obviously i don't know what soundtrack i actually put it to but we'll just have a quick look just for instance so if i go on to the uh, band camp and i press mary's boy child it'll go straight into another screen so that gives me to actually to listen to that track and then give you obviously the options to buy it and things like that so what did i put it with a sort of disco beat wasn't it this is how it works yeah that's it Yeah, that was the soundtrack I put to it anyway. <laughs> so, so there you go, let's go back one. So, okay, that one was um, Mary's Boy Child. So, Jingle Bells, let's have a quick listen to Jingle Bells, see which one I put that one to. Oh, okay, that could be one of ones down here somewhere. Okay, we know that one, so let's try a soundtrack for that one. Now that's the skaters one. <laughs> God knows what that is. Wow. Well, oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Be? It's a bit of. <laughs> Why not? Thank <laughs> you. 
different rhythm um that was back singer apparently back singer dance floor hitty thingy no no so um that was with jingle bells <laughs> okay so what we're going to do now we're going to try and do this one where is this this is the last one on this album um i'm going to see if it will work that's the skater's dance so obviously that's the bolero um, you've got to be quite clever on these things. So Skaters Dance is the Blaro. Just looking to see if I can get a classical one in there somewhere. Because this next one is Walking in a Winter's Wonderland. Um, now the one I did with it is quite a good one. But whether I can find it again is another thing. Because there's 650 stars on this thing. Um, let me think. Uh, so let's just have a quick listen to see how it goes. So it me... Okay, that's interesting. Because I didn't put it to the original. Right. Okay. Okay, so I know roughly that's now a Caribbean one. <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got to put that one to a bit of a, a more of a classical Caribbean-ish stuff. Um, same sort of dance one, we could probably put it to a dance one. A modern version to it. That's interesting. Not quite what I had in mind. That's even worse. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, let's see where we go from here. Then. Walking in a winter on the land. Thank you. 
you go completely different rhythms again but um, I think you'll enjoy the ones check it out it's bands it's songs to Jilton it's available on um, Bandcamp um, because at the moment I've not got all the stuff going on all the streaming sites at the moment uh, when you've got 320 songs to put on there it's gonna take ages it's, it's just gonna take ages you're gonna have to bear with it um, but I mean, you can bear with it, it might take a few six months to get it all on there, but uh, we're getting there. All what you could do is just go and buy these. <laughs> and the minimum one is 25p anyway, so it's not going to kill you. Um, so all the actual stuff now, all my um, songs on there, all my albums, all the stuff, I've split them all down to you buy now the, sing the, um, the tracks of the album. So if you wanted... Two tracks off there, a track off there, a track off there, a track off there, a track off there. You don't have to go and buy the album now, you see. So what you can do now is just say 25p for that one, 25p for that one, 25p. You don't get the album with all the tracks, but you only just get the tracks. So if you go into this one, which is Space Journey, on here we've got, this is the one I did for Space Journey, I've got my Beyond the Horizon, which is my one that everyone remembers. Um, Fifteen on the star, we've got floating through the nebula, um, into the past, space field, space hop, space clusters, sunbeams, um, travelling onwards, travelling through the galaxy, all mine, all licensed. And you say you can just pick one of these, um, it will go straight into this, it will once you hit it. <laughs> okay, go straight into there, it gives you an idea of what it's going to sound like. This one is, what's this one? Space Hop is the one of mine again. Turn the light on on Technics. Yeah, it's a Technics one. It's called Space Hop. One of the sounds of it. Fits nicely. So then, of course, you just go down and uh, say, well, if I want to buy it, obviously I'm looking at it through my uh, my uh, professional account, so I'm getting all the things that I can do to it. Like I, I can do a bulk edit, I can change things around, I can edit things around. 
but normally if you go on it you'd, you'd get the price down here or whatever you want to pay which I've roughly set in everything to that um, and you can buy the buy the actual singles instead of buy the whole album um, and I think it's good away actually that way because uh, it's not everyone wants all the songs on one album um, but they might want three or four on that album and then they might want one or two on the other album and the other one so yeah minimum 25p or if you do put OOO and try and get it for nothing well that's fine with me but unfortunately because I run through Bandcamp my policy is that I have to get you guys to actually give me your email so I have to give it to Bandcamp so they can actually advertise stuff on you um, because it's it's not been like sold so they're not making their money out of it <laughs> so yeah I think it's fair enough to do that um, but minimum you can get away with it 25p and I'm happy with that 25p a track that's, that's, that's okay um, so yeah uh, and then once you've got it there it'll download to your Bandcamp um, app so basically once you restored it I can't do it on here actually because you can't see it but um, you go onto the Bandcamp app, which you're, you've downloaded, and it's automatically put it into your Bandcamp app. It's, that's like now it's changed your phone into a, an MP3 player. Um, so then you can do stuff like that. And there's all the other stuff, as you can see. I've got loads <laughs> and still adding more. Um, so lots more to come. And uh, there you go. <laughs> so there you go, like. Thanks for guys that's uh, been supporting me through the year. And uh, let's carry on. I like that. That's, that. That was a good track. That was. Uh, let's let's just do a bit of a random search, shall we?
Quite what I was. Um, once, uh, once, once, once more, once more. Well, well, dance floor, once more. There you go. Apparently, that was. Um, we could probably, if I had that record, I'd probably add, them, add that as a track. So it all comes inspiration to me, just like that. I pick a pick and pick a track, and I just make something up of it. That's how fast I can make this music. It's crazy. But that's one reason I don't really want to be signed up to anyone because. You wouldn't be allowed to do all that. That's the problem with the musicians um, being signed up to these big labels. You are basically their slave, and you don't want to be that. You definitely don't want to be that uh, because basically you probably have six or seven albums, thirty or forty songs, but you're not allowed to use them. You're only allowed to use one album a year, one album a year, and then you've got to tour with that album, and then you've got to. No, thank you. <laughs> I like to put my music out to people when I want to put my music out to people. So, yeah. So, Britain's Got Talent, I'll stick it. And uh, all the agents that's been after me, if you're listening, go away. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm happy doing my stuff myself.
Look at my ears. <laughs> Gosh, I'm looking at the time. Oh my God, this is one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave you to it then. Um, thanks very much for joining me. Um, hope you've enjoyed the Sunday chill. It's been a bit of difference of different that all sorts of things. And also introducing you to the. So there we are. Where they, they got lost it? <laughs> oh, um, uh, there you go. Sunday chill. Oh gosh. Come back. <laughs> okay, so Christmas with Stars, that's my uh, album. Um, you can either download it uh, on Bandcamp for, let's say, a minimum of 25p for a track. Um, so even if you bought the album, it's going to be quite cheap. <laughs> uh, but uh, you can have any of them tracks in there for 25p. Just download it onto your um, Bandcamp app. And if you haven't got it on your phone, go to Google um, Play Store or whatever like that. Just put Bandcamp app in and you'll find it. It's very popular. All us musicians are on it. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, once you've got that in your phone, then basically just go to the Bandcamp website itself, which is this. And look for the artist you want, which is me, DJ Steve Francis. Um, and uh, if you can't find me, just look on my link which is on my profile just under my um my photo on facebook click on that go straight to this one here which shows you all the albums that i've got in there um and then once you've got into an album you can see all the actual listings down here click on the listings you can actually play the music before you actually decide if you want it or not once you've downloaded it and pack well once you've paid for it uh, downloaded it you can pay on any of the cards um, takes any currency from around the world, even PayPal, stuff like that. Um, and then basically it's that music is in your uh, band camp on your phone really. Basically it's an MP3 player on your phone. Good thing about it is you've not subscribed to it. You've bought it straight out like we used to do, if you remember that, them days. Um, and uh, you've not subscribed to it, so it's cost you a fortune. And you've just bought it, and that's yours. You can even put it onto another platform, so you can download it onto your computer or anything like that. Um, free to do what you want on it. Um, all I'm asking is really 25p minimum for each track. You can take as many tracks as you want, and uh, go from there. So there's loads of different things on there. If I just go out there, this is a Christmas one, obviously. I've got my Beatles versions, I've got my synthesizer stuff with Jean-Michel Jarre and Van Gallis and stuff like that. If you can see that, then they've got the ABBA one which is called uh, Swedish Blonde because I can't say ABBA. Um, same as this one, Fab Four, which is obviously the Fab Four, which is the Beatles because that's what they were. <laughs> so you've just got to be a bit crafty on it. Um, we've got uh, the Love Album which I bring out every um, uh, Valentine's, so we've got the bits on there. And then we've got the rock album, which got a bit of rock stuff in there. You've got ELO there. Um, you've got Cool Easy Music, that's basically some old time songs, which I usually do around the care rooms. Um, best of Steve Francis, if you want the best of everything, if you go into the Best of Steve Francis album, you can see what I've done is took two tracks of each album, and, uh, and basically it's different genres. So you've got Happy Summer, which is mine anyway, Starlight Summer, which is mine anyway. <laughs> I've got Human, we've got Gentle Wind, which is mine. I've got um, Mary's Boy's Child, I've got Only Winter's Tale. So you see, I've took two, two off that album, two off another album, two off, um, just called Say I Love You, uh, Somewhere Only Knows, which is basically off the um, Valentine's album. Um, and we've got, uh, what's that, Great Times, which is one of my own. That I've built up myself for the old time songs, which is on Cool Easy Music. Um, Summer Holiday, which is another of Cool Easy Music. Um, when I Was a Boy and Rock and Roll of King, which is on the ELO album. And Night of a Thousand Eyes and Lay Down Sally, which is on the rock album. So I know them off by heart now. <laughs> um, but that'd be a good album to have. Um, as I say, if we did 25p minimum, 25, 25, 25, 25 that's one pound, two pound. Yeah, and you're looking at three or four quid for if, you had, if you had all those. So, uh, so there you go. Or even if you just said, I'll have the album and pay three quid or four quid or something like that. It's, it's entirely up to you guys. Um, I'm, 
I've not put a price on it because I've tried different prices and sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. Um, so I thought, well, I'll let you guys put whatever price you want and then you can download it. As I say, minimum is 25p though, so I can't do anything about that because Bandcamp do the law over me because I'm using their platform. So um, so they, they say, if you did it nil, 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 then you've got to give your email. And I don't really think you'd like to give the email, but what you could do, I mean, it, all it does is basically gives me the email so I can send you updates of anything that I come out with, music or anything like that. Um, it's a fair little exchange, I suppose. Uh, my music for your email, you know, it's, it's a tricky one, but there you go. Uh, that's what band comes to. I'm happy with you just to pay what you want. <laughs> and the old, uh, the old iPad saying, I've had enough, get it off. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us. I hope you had a fantastic time with um, Christmas coming up and that. Um, hopefully it's going to be quite busy. If you want a disco, let me know. Um, I don't know if I've got my phone number on there or not, actually, on Facebook. Probably have. If not, just email me. Um, it'll come through. Or message me. That'll be even enough. I only go roughly about 10 miles outside of Bourne. I don't go far now because it's not worth running around. Um, I'm happy to do 10 mile outside Bourne, so that's not a problem. 10 mile radius, so we could do Market Deepin, uh, we could do um, Stamford, we could do Spalding, anything like that. Um, if you've got a hall, you want a disco for um, 60s, 70s and 80s, and that's all they do. So I won't be taking modern booking so have a think about that if you want to just go for just 60s uh, 70s 80s and 90s hang on 60s 70s and 80s that's it um that's me because that's my age group that's my genre um and it's for that genre um, because basically that is the only music that people are dance to our genre we used to dance modern music nowadays more people are like Come up to you and take a photo of you, like photo, 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 photo. You've got six or seven cameras around you. If you're trying to concentrate on what you're doing, you've got six or seven cameras around you. And there's always one there who wants to try and knock something over or do something like, you know, just to make his, his YouTube or whatever go up a little bit higher um, but cause a little bit of a problem. So we've had one or two of them and I've, I'm not having any more of that. So um, I've decided I'm just doing 60s, 70s, and 80s. That's our age group. We had more common sense in them days. We knew what politeness was, and uh, we knew what um, um, it is to look at. You know, be um, be, be nice to people, <laughs> um, and not just make a big scene out of it because you want to film it and go on um, YouTube to try and get more money out of themselves. Well, that won't work because they'll just look at it and see it's like a boost and uh, they'll just delete your channel. So don't do it, guys. It's not worth it. I've been on YouTube a long time now and uh, I know the ins and outs left, right and centre. <laughs> OK. And when you've got something like 78,000 fans around the world for different social medias, <clears throat> you tend to know what you're doing. So. Uh, it's not worth it. So, no. so anyway, on my discos, yes, that's what I'm doing. Um, 60s, 70s, 80s. That's all. Um, you can hire me if you want for a keyboarding. <laughs> and uh, if you really want, I'll probably do some teaching. But you've got to have the... Uh, you've got to be a bit like me. You've got to know how to play music by ear. But... In 432 because I'm out of tune <laughs> apparently whatever it says but, uh, but no it's just the right way and that's what sounds good with your ears because it's spot on anyway guys thank you very much for joining us I'm gonna do you one more and uh, you'll know which one it is because I do it for the end all the time and it's thank you for the music we'll just pick a rhythm I don't want anything <laughs> That's a bit too quick. Uh, that's too slow. That'll do. 
guys thank you very much for joining me i will see you soon this video will be available now and also on youtube in about a day's time